It's the Jurassic Park sequel that you didn't see coming. Hello everyone and welcome to Movie Reviews by Josh. My name is Josh Terry and as you can see I'm not in my normal location. I am at the movie theater and I just got out of seeing Kong Skull Island for the press screening this week and boy I'm strongly recommending this movie. It is so much fun. I did not expect it to be this much fun. So you can tell from the title of the movie, if you haven't seen all the previews, that this is a King Kong movie. It's a movie about a giant ape. But it's not quite the same giant ape that we've been accustomed to before. They don't catch him, they don't take him to New York where he can scale the Empire State Building. This time the whole thing stays on the island, and so it's almost kind of in the Jurassic Park vein. Uh, you got King Kong, but you've also got all these other fun monsters. It doesn't happen in the 1930s either. This happens actually during during the Vietnam era in 1973, at the same time, it's not like the Peter Jackson King Kong, which was three hours long and just felt kind of indulgent. This is a lot tighter. It's two hours long. The story feels a lot more cohesive. And frankly, it's just got a fun, fun, campy personality. There is a weird balance going on here where it's kind of corny. It's kind of goofy. This is definitely not in kind of like the serious, gritty, realistic genre at all but it's not so funny that it's dumb. It's not so funny that it's distracting. There's a really great balance that I really did not expect in this, and so I highly, highly recommend it. It's got a great cast. The people who, who go to the island and the, the premise is that they're gonna go there because they've discovered this, this undiscovered island, and they're gonna go and map it out, but they're really there because John Goodman's character knows that there's a monster and that they're going to find out everything they can about it. Uh, you've got Tom Hiddleston, you know as Loki, he plays this, uh, ex-Special Forces tracker. Brie Larson is this photographer who seems kind of destined to be the Fay Ray of the story. Uh, you've got Samuel L. Jackson at full Samuel L. Jackson mode playing a, a, a military leader who is feeling like he has unfinished business from Vietnam that he's trying to settle a score with and he, he transplants that, he projects that onto King Kong. Uh, just a lot of really kind of crazy over-the-top you know, effects and battles and I almost don't want to spoil too much because I think just go see it and have a good time. So hold on to your butts. Kong Skull Island is rated PG-13 and it earns the PG-13. There's a lot of violence, there's more gore than you might expect. It's all kind of of the CGI variety and nothing is so graphic. I mean, you wouldn't confuse this with an R-rated movie, but it's definitely on the, the violent kind of crazy side. There's some languages, one use of the F word. Uh, no real sexual content. Uh, the Brie Larson character is kind of sexualized a little bit, but not to a disturbing amount. So to my great surprise, I'm gonna give this one three and a half stars out of four. I really enjoyed this one and I think that if you go into it kind of understanding what it is, you can have a real blast with this movie. Consider it kind of a summer season warm-up. Uh, you'll be excited for the summer after you see this one. Uh, so thanks again for watching. As always, make sure that you subscribe and turn your notifications on so you can see our videos as soon as they come up. We'd like to thank our friends at Rocky Gator for sponsoring us and we'll see you next time. So I don't know if you know this, but I was actually a big fan of the TV show for many, many years. Never missed an episode, every season.